Ever stop and wonder if there's a real-life Willy Wonka out there? A Candyman slash inventor that produces some of the most wonderful treats you've ever tasted all behind the scenes? Well, hold on to your Wonka bar, folks, because we have the real-life Willy Wonka right here. It's Giovanni Ferrero, and his company oversees the production of Nutella, Tic Tac Mints, and of course, the Ferrero Rocher. He's an Italian businessman who at the time of writing this video is worth $34.7 billion. Wow, who'd have thought that being a candy connoisseur could make you so rich? We've got the story of just how Mr. Ferrero made his riches right here. Prepare for a sweet video. It may be hard to believe, but the legendary performance by Gene Wilder in the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, a movie released in 1971 and which grossed a modest $4.5 million at the box office, may be closer to real life than you could possibly imagine. And while Wilder's portrayal of Mr. Willy Wonka is, shall we say, eccentric, and the magic of the factory is a bit surreal, all you have to do is look to everyone's favorite hazelnut spread, Nutella, and you'll find that the man running the company is eerily similar to everyone's favorite singing candy man. The person in question is Mr. Giovanni Ferrero, and at the time of writing this video, he is worth an incredible $34.7 billion. Just how did he amass such an incredible fortune? Well, here's how. Mr. Ferrero was born April 2nd, 1964 in Farigliano, Italy, to Michele Ferrero and Maria Fisolo. In the mid-1970s, he found himself in the United States studying marketing, but once he returned to Italy, his father handed over the family business, the Ferrero Group, to Giovanni and his brother, Pietro. And here's where things get a bit Wonka-like. See, the two brothers quickly started marketing overseas rather aggressively, while at the same time inventing new and delicious candies and sweets that they were sure would take the world by storm. Their father, Michele, had invented a little-known product in 1964 called Nutella, and the boys were sure this hazelnut spread would be a hit. They started their expansion of the company in 1997, and within a few years, they had found reach in South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Unfortunately, Pietro Ferrero passed away in 2011, which left Giovanni in the sole role as CEO and leader of the family business. And boy, did he ever take up the mantle. Today, he oversees 18 production plants, which just so happened to sell the flagship product of the Ferrero Group, and arguably the closest equivalent the world has to a Wonka bar, it's the Ferrero Rocher. What other products does Mr. Ferrero produce? Oh, we're sure you've heard of a few. Ever hear of Kinder Eggs? Yeah, that's produced at Ferrero's factory. And get this, in 2011, Giovanni invited the press inside his chocolate factory to see just how things worked. And journalists were blown away to discover that Ferrero produced enough Kinder Eggs in one month to cover the entirety of Tiananmen Square. We gotta say, that sounds like a move Willy Wonka would do. Another product you may have heard of, Tic Tacs. That's right, the delightful little mint that is only 1.9 calories is under the jurisdiction of Mr. Giovanni Ferrero. Is this his equivalent of the everlasting gobstopper? Hmm, we'll let you be the judge of that one. Oh, but we aren't done yet. In 2018, one of the most wild acquisitions in the candy world took place. The Ferrero Group purchased the US candy business Nestle for $2.8 billion. That means that Butterfinger, Raisinets, and Baby Ruth bars are all under the watchful eye of the Ferrero Group. At this point, do we even need to compare them to the Wonka factory? I mean, it's just a given now, folks. So what else can we tell you about this billionaire who is bursting with boundless confectionery treats? Well, he's quite an ethical, family-driven man, believe it or not. He has been quoted as saying, I strongly believe that attention to employees' needs, to their families, to their life even when they quit working, cements a social cohesion that is mutually beneficial. He has two sons that he hopes will one day run the family business, and he has gone on record saying that he would like to double the size of his family legacy in the next 10 years. Although he is strictly against a merger with Mars Bars, seems there's a bit of a rivalry there. Maybe it has something to do with the Mars family being worth $94 billion themselves? Hard to believe? Well, don't forget, they manufacture M&Ms, Snickers, Three Musketeers, and Milky Way bars. 
Now, can you believe it? Okay, we've talked about the Nutella billionaire, but we haven't really talked about the sensation that is Nutella. We know you're wondering exactly how this product came to be, why it's such a smashing success, and are there any Nutella-themed restaurants or bars out there? Spoiler alert, there are. Check this out, the start of Nutella can actually be traced to Napoleon way back in 1806. Okay, okay, so Napoleon Bonaparte, who was worth an impressive $400 million, didn't actually have anything to do directly with the creation of Nutella, but in 1806, he did try to freeze out British commerce so that he could win the Napoleonic Wars. A blockade was instated, and this severely limited the trading of chocolate, causing its price to skyrocket. What did the chocolatiers turn to? You guessed it, it was the much cheaper hazelnut. This was the first time hazelnut had been used in any sort of sweet spreadable form. Fast forward to 1946, and a candy man named Pietro Ferrero invented his take on the hazelnut confection and named it Pasta Gianduja. His son Michele tweaked the recipe in 1964 and renamed it Nutella. What else can we tell you about this hazelnut treat? Well, its original name, Pasta Gianduja, was chosen as a tribute to the Italian Commedia dell'arte character Gianduja, who was a smiling Piedmontese peasant. These days, Nutella is produced in such incredible amounts that all the Nutella sold in a year could easily spread over 1,000 soccer fields. And if you think that's impressive, Ferrero purchases about one-fourth of the world's hazelnut supply every year. That is 100,000 tons of hazelnuts, folks. But don't forget, Giovanni Ferrero is one of the 50 richest people on the planet. He certainly can afford it. And the world's craze for this delicious spread doesn't stop there. In 2013, there was a $20,000 Nutella heist that took place in Germany. Thieves stole five metric tons of Nutella from a truck. The same year, Columbia University made headlines due to the college spending $6,000 a week on the spread for their dining halls. Apparently, students were eating 100 pounds of Nutella a day. So, you starting to get a craving for this fantastical hazelnut spread? Well, we'll leave you with this fun little bar you should visit if you are ever in New York City and get a Nutella craving. The Nutella Bar at Italy, New York is an officially licensed Nutella bar and restaurant where you can experience the spread in more ways than you ever thought were possible. It was designed by chef Katia Dilogu, and the menu houses some incredible sweet treats including crepes, waffles, pastries, French seasonal fruit, gelato, and even coffee, all served with Nutella. If you're ever on 23rd Street in Manhattan, you should check it out. Hey, before we go, we want to tell you about another restaurant that will only be serving up sweets when you sit down. It's The Chocolate Room, and it's been open since 2005. Inside, you'll find signature desserts, cakes, homemade ice cream, shakes, floats, brownie sundaes, chocolate room pudding, chocolate fondue for two, banana splits, ah, look, the list goes on and on. Oprah Winfrey, worth $2.1 billion at the time of writing this, has been known to stop on by and get the three-layer Belgian chocolate layer cake. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, right here on The Richest.